Hey, just a quick episode of TJ's Garage. Um, I haven't made a video in a while. Uh, last time I made one, um, all this carport was gone. We're down in Florida, getting ready to head back up north. So while we were down here, we noticed that a, a lot of golf carts were for sale online as flood carts, okay? Um, they're very cheap, because everybody knows down here that golf carts are very expensive. So I ended up buying a golf cart, a uh, flood cart. As you know, I'm pretty mechanical mechanically inclined and I bit off more than I could chew but we we're able to fix it okay so just keep this in mind if you're not mechanically inclined and don't have a lot of knowledge of electrical you know switches and plugs and everything this might be a little pain in the ass for you um, this cart was seven feet underwater so basically it was buried in water when the tide came in during Ian so when we got it it looked fantastic and I knew what I was getting myself into but it was a little more involved so as you can see if you stay there um, we put it up on uh, dollies in the beginning because all the carts down here are electrical better powered by batteries so we have 36 or 48 so as you can see here I had six eight volt batteries that I had to replace okay 48 volts um, the motor, which is here, this is what drives the cart. This is why the rear end didn't move, because this shaft was frozen. As you can see, anything that's electrical, which is pretty much everything on this cart, is corroded because of salt. Okay? Nothing was salvageable. Everything here, including the main harness, the entire wiring harness, had to be replaced. So we're talking the motor, the... Uh, the voltage regulator or step down, the solenoid, the charging system, the, uh, the entire wiring harness, uh, the brake actuator, everything that was electrical had to be replaced. Um, all the plugs, when I put them back together with the new harness, I used uh, dielectric grease. I don't know if you guys know about that, you should. Um, that's what you put on electrical plugs. Um, it's a good conductor of electricity and it doesn't corrode. So, because we're in Florida, everything corrodes overnight. If you blink your eyes, the next morning you wake up, everything's corroded. So, this particular cart, it, it's in excellent shape, but uh, as you can see, we had to replace the batteries, um, all the cables, um, the charger, the voltage step down, uh, basically the brains of the outfit, which is back here. If you come around the back and look, Here's your new motor, motor slash transmission. This is your brain box, the distributor for everything. And as you can see, the frame is pretty pretty new. So supposedly this was a 2020 cart. It's a four-seater. It's an icon. Um, I was able to get all the parts, all the batteries. But if you think for one minute that you're going to buy a $1,000 cart and only put 1000 into it, it's not going to happen. These parts are very expensive, whether it's EasyGo, Club Cart, Yamaha, whatever. Um, electrical parts are cheap. I mean, not cheap. They're expensive, and you can't just get away with replacing one part. As you can tell, because this cart was submerged, everything on this cart that was electrical or had a plug had to be replaced. So we had to run the entire new harness through here. Okay? So... We got new batteries. Um, this is the newest technology out there. Six batteries, like I said, 48 volts. Um, the other ones are pretty much garbage. But um, that's it. If you plan on buying anything that has been submerged in salt water, be prepared to dump a boatload of cash into it. Not a boatload. I mean, we're still ahead of the game after all is said and done, and after all the parts have been replaced. I'm pretty much paying half of what a brand new cart would cost, and this will all be brand new. So that's something to think about. Um, even, even the dash readout is brand new. Ignition's gonna be brand new. This is what your headlight used to look like because it was submerged. And you could see the cooling posts in here are all corroded because they're aluminum. And these happen to have uh, capacitors in them, little circuit boards because they are all LED. These are not cheap. Um, you could see the front of the cart. I have new headlights. There's also new tail lights going in the back, and they are LED. So keep in mind, like I said, 
It's not going to be a $2,000 cart or investment when you get done with it. You're going to put some money into it, but it'll be worth it in the long run if you plan on keeping it. Okay? Uh, that's about it right now. If you have any questions, just send me a message on my uh, video, and I'll get back to you right away. Thanks.